Have you ever wondered how we know that the Earth is round? Today we have satellites and space missions that give us a bird's eye view of our planet. But did you know that the ancient Greek philosophers also knew that the Earth was round? One of the earliest arguments for a spherical Earth came from Pythagoras or Pythagoras in the 6th century BC. He noticed that during a lunar eclipse, the shadow of the Earth on the moon was always circular, which could only happen if the Earth was round. Later, in the 4th century BC, Aristotle made several arguments for a spherical Earth. He noticed that the Earth casts a curved shadow on the moon during a lunar eclipse, and that ships disappear over the horizon hull first, indicating that the surface of the Earth is curved. Another argument for a spherical Earth came from Eratosthenes in the 3rd century BC. He noticed that the angle of the sun's rays at noon was different in Alexandria and Cyrene, two cities located at different latitudes. By measuring the difference in angle, he was able to calculate the circumference of the Earth with remarkable accuracy. Finally, in the 2nd century BC, the astronomer Hipparchus was able to accurately predict lunar eclipses by calculating the position of the Earth, Moon, and the Sun in space. This could only be done if the Earth was round. In conclusion, the ancient Greek philosophers knew that the Earth was round through a combination of observations, logical reasoning, and mathematical calculations. Their insights laid the groundwork for the development of modern science and astronomy today. If you guys enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for future videos. Thanks guys, see you soon.